for February here, but I just want to go back real quick to what that coach was I saying. Know. The coach works with his wife. The key, guys, as you know, is you're the boss 50% of the time, she's the boss 50% of the time. But the 50% you're the boss, silently you have to be the boss and let her think. <laughs> you got to let her think she's the boss too. Got okay. It? So there you go. You got to write a book about this. I'm going to. <laughs> he couldn't let it go. <laughs> I knew it. That's why I paused because I knew. For a minute I've been thinking about that. <laughs> I'm glad you got that off your chest. Thank All right, you. we'll see what Cherie says when she gets back up here. All right, Kevin. <laughs> well, you know what? Heading into the weekend, I was just going to say they can keep all of that stuff. The snow, the below Oh, I thought you were talking about the 50-50. They can keep all of that. <laughs> I'm not even diving into that. You know what? I'm, I'm not even getting into any of that. Okay. I'm just going to steer clear. I'm going to move right on into the forecast on that one. All right, let's talk about home openers tomorrow because FC Cincinnati, Houston Dynamo, it's going to be a nice night for the March to the Bailey. The weather should be at least tolerable out there, right? Temperatures will be in the 40s, mid 40s anyway. And then by the time you're leaving TQL Stadium, temperatures will be dipping back into the upper 30s. So a seasonably cool night, but not too cold for some soccer, right? Tonight, though, is going to be cold. We're headed down to around 30 by morning. Now, the good news is that this is about as bad as it's going to get in this cold spell here because moving forward, Sunshine returns for the weekend. Milder temperatures are coming before some rain moves in here on Monday. So not much to worry about this evening or tonight. First thing tomorrow morning, there is a sprinkle shower flurry chance. It won't amount to much of anything. So if you see any of that, you have to be up early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, Sunday is quiet. And then I think we've got a decent round of rain and wind. The next potent storm system moves in here on Monday with a round of rain and wind right now. So it's back to spring for us as we head into the weekend. We're into the 50s on Saturday and then mid to upper 50s on Sunday. Look at Monday, upper 60s, and look how we stay mild going into much of next week. This is a beautiful sunset out here this evening. We've got those high, thin cirrus clouds, so that means if you head out here shortly, you should catch quite a few different hues of orange and yellow and pink and red out there in that sunset as it gets ready to go down for a cold night. Compared to 24 hours ago, we're running about 27 degrees colder outside. We're in the 40s now. We're going to be in the 30s probably within the next hour with those mostly clear skies. 41 in Wilmington, 44 in Maysville. You're already into the upper 30s in Indiana. So again, jacket, sweater tonight, going to any fish fries, or if you're headed out to the movies or to dinner, doing anything on this Friday night, dress warm. It'll be a chilly one, but it will be quiet overnight. So high pressure essentially in charge of the weather right now. I want to point out to you, notice the cloud cover and some snow breaking out to our west. This is the weather system that will zip through here very quickly overnight. The problem is it's running into the weather. Good guy, high pressure, dry air. That means aside from maybe a flurry or a shower, that's about it. And you can see that scoot through very quickly because we're back into sunshine by Saturday afternoon. It is quiet in here on Sunday as we top out in the mid to upper 50s. And then the next rain chance gets in here overnight Sunday and just in time for your commute on Monday morning. So 30 for a low tonight. It turns cloudy late with well, maybe a sprinkle or flurry tomorrow. A nice day for February. We're into the 50s again. There's a look at your day planner. Not too bad after a little bit of a cold start around the area. Those clouds may linger a little while in the morning. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, Monday is the next weather impact day with that system that brings rain and wind in here. But overall, Ashley and Mike, temperatures continue to remain on the spring like side. All right, Kevin, thanks so much. All eyes in South Carolina. The murder trial. Was